Baron James, who was head of the Paris branch and the youngest of the five sons of our Emperor Rothschild, gave an astonishingly uninhibited description of the 19th century Rothschild policy of keeping it in the family. Jacob Rothschild, the renowned billionaire and member of the influential Rothschild family, has long been a subject of fascination and speculation. When the news of his death broke, the world was left shocked at the passing of the billionaire. However, disturbing footage of Jacob Rothschild still alive has recently surfaced online, even after his reported death. Prepare to be shocked as we delve into the mysterious and unsettling events surrounding this enigmatic figure. The viral footage. In our family, We've always tried to keep love in the family. <laughs> Following his death on February 26, 2024, a video of renowned billionaire Jacob Rothschild, the scion of the renowned Rothschild banking dynasty, recently resurfaced online after his death. This video sent shockwaves through the internet as the billionaire was seen making light-hearted jokes about the family's tradition of keeping it in the family. The video was traced to an event held on November 8, 2018 at Sotheby's New York and was also shared on Waddesdon Manor's YouTube channel. Rothschild's remarks about keeping the love in the family painted a disturbing picture that immediately drew widespread condemnation and sparked an intense debate on social media as netizens called it gross. And Baron James, who was head of the Paris branch and the youngest of the five sons of our Emperor Rothschild, gave an astonishingly uninhibited description of the 19th century Rothschild policy of keeping it in the family. He continued by saying, I'll quote to you from what he wrote make you smile. In our family, we've always tried to keep love in the family. <laughs> in this sense, it was more or less understood since childhood that children would never think of marrying outside the family. As the video spread like wildfire, theories and speculations began to emerge. People took to social media to express their outrage. An ex-user with the username at Freyatata posted the disturbing footage along with the tweet. I guess we know where the phrase incest is best came from. Here's Jacob Rothschild joking about inbreeding within the family to keep the bloodlines pure and wealthy. The post attracted a lot of other angry users who took to the comment section to call out the family. While the world grappled with the implications of the viral footage, the family of Jacob Rothschild offered no public statements, leaving the world to speculate and theorize about the true intent of the video. With the release of the disturbing footage, the enigma surrounding Jacob Rothschild only grew, as did the desire to uncover the truth behind his alleged joke. Unfortunately, with the news of his death, the deeper the rabbit hole seemed to go. On February 26th, the world was shaken by the recent passing of Jacob Rothschild, a towering figure in the renowned Rothschild banking dynasty. The passing of the billionaire at the age of 87 marked the end of an era. The world mourned the loss of a visionary. Leader, a compassionate philanthropist and a devoted family man. Tributes poured in from political, cultural and business leaders who recognised the profound impact he had made during his lifetime. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, in paying tribute to Jacob Rothschild, described him as a towering figure in Britain's Jewish community. Blair acknowledged his work in advancing peace in the Middle East, highlighting his commitment to fostering understanding and cooperation among different cultures and religions. The Rothschild family, known for their immense wealth, has always recognized the importance of giving back to society. Their philanthropic efforts have touched countless lives, supporting causes ranging from education and art to environmental sustainability and heritage preservation. Jacob Rothschild's passing marked the end of an era of philanthropy and leadership, leaving a void that will be difficult to fill. However, the legacy of Jacob Rothschild lives on. His daughter, Hannah, has taken on the role of chairing the Rothschild Foundation, ensuring that the family's philanthropic Philanthropic efforts will continue to thrive. Under her leadership, the Foundation will carry forward Jacob's vision and commitment to making a positive impact on society. As the world reflects on the life and legacy of Jacob Rothschild, it is a reminder of the power of one individual to affect change. Who is Jacob Rothschild? To understand the shocking events that unfolded after Jacob Rothschild's reported death, we must first delve into the enigmatic life of this influential figure. From supporting railway systems across the world to complex government financing for projects like the Suez Canal, the Rothschilds left an indelible mark on the global stage. In this section, we will explore the life of Jacob Rothschild, including his successful business career, his philanthropic endeavors, and the lasting impact of the Rothschild family in global affairs. Jacob Rothschild, the fourth Baron 
Rothschild was born on April 29, 1936 in Cambridge, England, into a family that would become synonymous with wealth, power and influence. He was the eldest son of Victor Rothschild, 3rd Baron Rothschild and Barbara Judith Rothschild, also known as Nee Hutchinson. From an early age, Jacob was exposed to the world of privilege and finance, setting the stage for his future endeavours. Growing up in Merton Hall, the Rothschild family estate in Cambridge, Jacob experienced a childhood filled with opportunities and intellectual stimulation. His father, Victor Rothschild, was a prominent figure in British society. Known for his scientific pursuits and his involvement in government intelligence during World War II, his mother Barbara came from a distinguished family and had a deep appreciation for the arts and culture. Education played a crucial role in Jacob's upbringing, and he was sent to Eton College, one of the most prestigious boarding schools in England. At Eton, he received a well-rounded education, developing his academic abilities and participating in various extracurricular activities. It was during his time at Eton that Jacob began to cultivate his own interests and passions, laying the foundation for his future success. After completing his studies at Eton, Jacob went on to pursue higher education at Christ Church, Oxford. There, he focused on history, a subject that would later prove invaluable in his understanding of the world and its complexities. Under the guidance of his tutor, Hugh Trevor Roper, a renowned historian, Jacob honed his analytical skills and developed a deep appreciation for the study of the past. In 1959, Jacob Rothschild joined the family bank of N.M. Rothschild at New Court in the City of London. The Rothschild name was synonymous with banking excellence, and Jacob's early career as an investment banker was no exception. His innovative and impressive approach to finance set him apart, even within the renowned banking dynasty. The Rothschild family's history in banking stretched back to the 18th century when Maya Amschel Rothschild established his banking business in Frankfurt. Through the generations, the family had branches in London, Paris, Vienna, Frankfurt and Naples, each producing great collectors and philanthropists. The Rothschild's influence in the financial world was unparalleled, and Jacob was determined to carry on this legacy. However, Jacob's career at N.M. Rothschild came to a dramatic end in the 1970s when he had a falling out with his cousin Evelyn de Rothschild. This split, described as the most notorious bank family split in the City of London history, centered around the future of the bank and the use of the Rothschild name. Jacob made the difficult decision to leave the bank in 1980, selling his shares and parting ways with the institution that had been synonymous with his family for generations. Despite the split, Jacob Rothschild continued to make his mark in the financial world. He took on the role of chairman of the Rothschild Investment Trust, also known as RIT, a position he had held since 1971. RIT was later demerged into J. Rothschild Assurance, later known as St. James's Place Capital, and RIT Capital Partners in 1988. Jacob's leadership and expertise guided the company through various changes and challenges, solidifying his reputation as a skilled financier. Throughout his career, Jacob Rothschild maintained a strong commitment to philanthropy. He believed in using his wealth and influence to make a positive impact on society. One notable project that showcased his dedication to philanthropy was the collaboration with his cousin Evelyn de Rothschild in supporting the construction of the Evelina Hospital for Children in London. This state-of-the-art hospital, part of the St. Thomas's Hospital Complex, provided essential healthcare services to children in need. Jacob and Evelyn both made substantial contributions to the hospital's appeal, demonstrating their shared commitment to improving the lives of others. In 1985, Jacob Rothschild assumed the position of chairman of the National Gallery, a role that would prove to be both challenging and rewarding. His appointment came at a critical time for the gallery, as it was grappling with the aftermath of a highly controversial architectural proposal that had drawn public ire. The winning design for an extension to the National Gallery, created by the British practice Ahrens, Burton and Koralek, ABK, had been denounced by the Prince of Wales as a monstrous carbuncle on the face of a much-loved and elegant friend. The public debate surrounding the design had reached a fever pitch, and the government-backed proposal was ultimately refused planning permission. Jacob Rothschild, with his keen eye for art and his deep understanding of the importance of preserving cultural heritage, recognized the need for a new vision for the National Gallery. He embarked on a mission to find an alternative solution that would address the gallery's chronic lack of exhibition space and restore its reputation as a leading institution. In collaboration with the Sainsbury brothers John, Timothy and Simon, heirs to Britain's leading supermarket chain, Jacob Rothschild unveiled a groundbreaking plan in April 1985. The Sainsbury brothers personally pledged to fund a new extension to the National Gallery, estimated to cost £33 million. This generous offer breathed new life into the gallery's expansion plans and paved the way for a fresh start. Jacob Rothschild's passion for the arts extended beyond his involvement in the National Gallery. As a cultural benefactor, he dedicated himself to preserving and enriching heritage sites, ensuring their continued significance for future generations.
generations. One of the notable properties under Jacob Rothschild's care was Waddesdon Manor, a magnificent Rothschild mansion in Buckinghamshire. Originally given to the National Trust in the 1950s, the manor was leased back by the Rothschild Foundation. Jacob took on the responsibility of caring for this French-style estate, ensuring its preservation and accessibility to the public. Waddesdon Manor stands as a testament to the Rothschild family's commitment to art, culture and heritage. The house remains populated by a vast collection of artworks that belong to the family. Jacob Rothschild recognized the importance of financing the property, allowing it to thrive independently while sharing its treasures with the public. In addition to Waddesdon Manor, Jacob Rothschild's commitment to heritage preservation extended to other notable properties. One such endeavor was the restoration of Spencer House, a Mayfair town palace that had been let as offices for many years. Jacob leased the property and embarked on a meticulous restoration project, bringing the house's famous interiors by Athenian Stuart back to their former glory. Spencer House holds historical significance as the town palace of the Spencer family, and its restoration was a labor of love for Jacob Rothschild. The project was met with great acclaim, and at the gala dinner held to mark the restoration of the house's staterooms, the late Diana, Princess of Wales, described it as the most exciting present of her life. Today, Spencer House serves as the home of RIT Capital Partners and offers guided tours, allowing visitors to appreciate its architectural splendor. Another notable project that showcased Jacob Rothschild's dedication to heritage preservation was Somerset House in London. He played a pivotal role in transforming the historic building into a public resource and home to the Courtauld Institute of Art. Somerset House, with its rich history and architectural grandeur, provided an ideal setting for the Institute, which is renowned for its art education and research programs. Following his death, Jacob Rothschild, a towering figure in the British art world, leaves behind a legacy of immense contributions as a banker, collector and philanthropist. From his transformative role as the chairman of the National Gallery to his dedication to preserving heritage sites such as Wadsden Manor and Somerset House, Rothschild's impact on the cultural landscape is immeasurable. His commitment to the arts, education and the environment set him apart as an extraordinary individual. Through his leadership and vision, the National Gallery flourished, attracting visitors from around the world and solidifying its position as a global cultural destination. Rothschild's dedication to preserving heritage sites ensured that these treasures would continue to inspire and educate future generations. Jacob Rothschild's unwavering support for philanthropic causes, both in the UK and abroad, exemplified his belief in using his wealth and influence to make a positive impact on society. His legacy will be remembered as one that transcends generations, leaving an indelible mark on the British art world and beyond. Conspiracy theories trailing the Rothschilds the Rothschild family has long been shrouded in mystery and intrigue, with conspiracy theories swirling around their immense wealth and influence. From alleged control over global finance to their supposed involvement in major historical events, the Rothschilds have become the subject of countless rumors and speculations. But what is the truth behind these sensational claims? The story of the Rothschilds begins in the late 18th century when Maya Amschel Rothschild established a banking business in Frankfurt, Germany. With his astute financial acumen, Maya quickly gained prominence and expanded his operations across Europe. However, it was the family's immense wealth and influence that would eventually give rise to the conspiracy theories that persist to this day. One of the earliest conspiracy theories surrounding the Rothschilds emerged in the early 19th century. As the family's banking empire grew, so did the rumors of their alleged control over global finance. Some claimed that the Rothschilds manipulated stock markets, controlled governments, and even orchestrated wars to further their own interests. These theories gained traction during the Napoleonic Wars when the Rothschilds successfully financed various European governments. Their ability to navigate the complex world of international finance led to accusations of secret deals and manipulation. Another significant event that fueled conspiracy theories was the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. According to the rumors, Nathan Rothschild, one of Mayer's sons, used his knowledge of the outcome of the battle to manipulate the stock market. Supposedly, he spread false information about the British defeat causing a panic that allowed him to buy up stocks at rock-bottom prices. While there is no concrete evidence to support these claims, they have persisted throughout history, contributing to the aura of mystery surrounding the Rothschilds. The family's success in finance and their involvement in major historical events made them an easy target for those seeking to explain the complexities of the world through simple narratives. 
Another aspect that has fueled conspiracy theories is the Rothschilds' association with the Illuminati. This secret society, believed by some to be controlling world events, has been linked to the Rothschilds in various conspiracy theories. However, it is important to note that there is no credible evidence to support these claims and they are largely based on speculation and misinformation. The association between the Rothschilds and the Illuminati can be traced back to the writings of 18th century philosopher Adam Weishaupt, who founded the Bavarian Illuminati. Weishaupt's ideas about a secret society seeking to establish a new world order captured the imagination of conspiracy theorists, who later connected these ideas to the Rothschilds. Anti-Semitism, the prejudice and discrimination against Jewish people, has a long and dark history. Throughout the centuries, Jews have been scapegoated and blamed for various societal ills, and the Rothschilds have not been immune to these harmful stereotypes. The association between Rothschild conspiracy theories and anti-Semitism can be traced back to the 19th century when the family's rise to prominence coincided with a rise in anti-Jewish sentiment. As the Rothschilds amassed immense wealth and influence, they became an easy target for those seeking to perpetuate harmful stereotypes about Jewish people. One of the key elements of these conspiracy theories is the idea of Jewish control over global finance. The Rothschilds, as a prominent Jewish banking family, became the embodiment of this perceived control, fueling the flames of anti-Semitism. The association between Rothschild conspiracy theories and anti-Semitism reached its peak during the 20th century, particularly during the rise of Nazi Germany. Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime propagated the idea of a global Jewish conspiracy, with the Rothschilds often featuring prominently in their propaganda. The Nazis used the Rothschilds as a symbol of Jewish power and control, further fueling the flames of anti-Semitism and justifying their horrific acts of persecution and genocide. This dark chapter in history serves as a stark reminder of the dangerous consequences of conspiracy theories and the impact they can have on marginalized communities. One of the most influential figures in the realm of conspiracy theories surrounding the Rothschilds is Alex Jones. Known for his controversial and sensationalist style, Jones has built a massive following through his website, Infowars, and his radio show. He has been a vocal proponent of Rothschild conspiracy theories, perpetuating the idea of a global Jewish conspiracy and the Rothschild's alleged control over world events. The influence of figures like Alex Jones cannot be underestimated. Their ability to captivate audiences and present information in a compelling manner has contributed to the mainstream acceptance of conspiracy theories. The internet has provided a platform for these theories to thrive, reaching individuals who may have previously been unaware or skeptical of such ideas. The impact of conspiracy theory websites and influential figures like Alex Jones on public perception is significant. These platforms often present information in a way that appeals to emotions and preconceived beliefs, making it difficult for individuals to critically evaluate the validity of the claims being made. However, it is crucial to approach these theories with skepticism and critical thinking. The internet is filled with misinformation and false narratives, and it is our responsibility as consumers of information to verify the credibility of the sources we encounter. The Rothschild conspiracy theories perpetuated by conspiracy theory websites and influential figures like Alex Jones are not based on factual evidence. They rely on sensationalism, fear and prejudice to capture attention and perpetuate harmful stereotypes, reactions and potential impact. I quote you from what he wrote and make this smile. In our family, we've always tried to keep love in the family. <laughs> in this sense, it was more or less understood since childhood that children would never think of marrying outside. As the shocking footage of Jacob Rothschild began to circulate online, the world was left in a state of disbelief. The reactions were immediate and intense, with social media platforms buzzing with discussions and debates. People from all walks of life, from conspiracy theorists to skeptics, were captivated by the disturbing words captured in the video. The footage fueled speculation and conspiracy theories. As expected, conspiracy theorists wasted no time in connecting the dots, weaving intricate narratives that implicated the Rothschild family in a web of secrecy and control. As the hours turned into days, the reactions to the disturbing footage of Jacob Rothschild became more polarized. Skeptics dismissed the video, highlighting inconsistencies and pointing out that he might have been misunderstood. Others, however, remained convinced of its authenticity. It also doesn't help that another disturbing footage of the billionaire was released as well, where he insinuated that his ancestors created Israel. Following the news of Rothschild's death, his video interview with former Israeli ambassador 
Ambassador Daniel Taub as part of the Balfour 100 project was circulated on X, formerly known as Twitter. The video, which already has over 1.6 million views within 24 hours, features Rothschild talking about the Balfour Declaration, which was made in a letter sent by the then British Foreign Secretary Arthur James Balfour to Jacob's uncle, Walter Rothschild, the second Baron Rothschild. In the video, when Taub asked Jacob Rothschild about why the Balfour Declaration was addressed to his uncle, Walter Rothschild, the financier talked about it being primarily a movement from Eastern Europe. He went on to say how Balfour had not clarified who would be in charge of the movement, but as it was addressed to Lord Rothschild, it signified that they thought the Rothschild family should do it. The uh, reason was this, that it was primarily a movement from Eastern Europe, but they didn't clarify who was in charge of that movement. He continued by saying, and in addition, it was after all in Great Britain, so they felt that the Rothschild family um, should be the one to whom it was addressed. Further in the video, while showing the original copy of the Balfour Declaration to Taub, Jacob Rothschild also said, And here it is, the Balfour Declaration. What do you feel when you, when you see it here? I genuinely feel it's one of the most extraordinary moments in the history of the Jewish people. Uh, if you think it took 3,000 years, uh, to get to this. Once again, social media users and public figures weighed in on the disturbing video, further fueling the frenzy. One user with the username at Dr. Lupis posted with the caption, in the memory of evil globalist Jacob Rothschild, who caused so much misery to the world, let's all remember how his family created Israel. Israel is a fake state created by evil globalists. Other users expressed shock and outrage as they dissected the events depicted in the video. Others dismissed it as a mere distraction, stating that they didn't think he was evil Evil simply because he was a member of the family. The potential impact of Jacob Rothschild's disturbing footage reverberated far beyond the initial shockwaves. As the world grappled with the implications of the video, various sectors of society braced themselves for potential consequences that could reshape the global landscape. In the realm of politics, the footage ignited a firestorm of speculation and mistrust. Conspiracy theories surrounding the Rothschild family's influence on world governments gained traction, with many questioning the authenticity of democratic processes. Processes. The impact extended to the financial sector, where the Rothschild family's vast wealth and influence had long been a subject of scrutiny. The footage intensified suspicions of economic manipulation and insider trading, leading to calls for stricter regulations and oversight. The social fabric of communities was also affected by the disturbing footage. The video's release deepened existing divisions and fueled conspiracy theories, leading to increased polarization. As the dust settled, the potential impact of Jacob Rothschild's disturbing footage remained uncertain. The world had been shaken to its core, and the aftermath would be felt for years to come. The incident served as a catalyst for introspection and a call to action, as individuals and societies grappled with the implications of hidden power and the need for transparency and accountability. The Rothschilds, with their immense wealth and connections, have undoubtedly played a significant role in shaping the world we live in. But to what extent? Are they the architects of a grand conspiracy, or are they simply successful individuals navigating the complexities of the global state? Stage. As we continue to unravel the secrets surrounding Jacob Rothschild and the disturbing footage that has gone viral, it is important to approach the topic with an open mind. While the claims of conspiracy theorists may seem far-fetched, it is obvious that the story of Jacob Rothschild is far from over. For more thought-provoking videos like this, click on the cards showing on your screen and I'll be waiting.